Government has lost out on revenue collection close to two years now following the placing of Mnali Nico Mine on care and maintenance. The mine was placed on care and maintenance in December 2011, with Abidon engaging in a number of deliberations to locate a key shareholder willing to make a significant capital investment. An autonomous review of the Mnali mineral resource reduced the designated resource by about 25% and the estimated nickel containing resource by some 42%. The report also found that no measured resource had ever been reported and that there was currently an insufficient basis to conclude that a reclassified resource could be mined economically at current low metal prices. The mine shutdown has also affected employees who were laid off due to financial difficulties. Mazabuka Central Member of Parliament, Karen Combo, states that there's been commitment by various investors to run the mine, but the challenge being the inconsistent partners due to the reduced nickel prices on the London Metal Exchange. He urges government to provide some tax holiday for investors in the mines for a certain period to accord them chance to boost their business which will in turn benefit the national treasury. The thing government can do for now is to consider giving them a, a window for tax holiday when they do start operating because it has become extremely evident that they have had problems. So it is just a question of now government understanding for how long this tax, tax holiday should be. Um, and then they must start contributing into the tax net of this country. And Mines Deputy Minister Richard Musuku has admitted that government has lost out on revenue during the period the mine has not been operational. He, however, says government is doing everything possible to facilitate the resumption of operations at the mine. Uh, government, uh, through its uh, partner and the mine management, have been looking after the operation of the mine and ensuring that it is safe and also taking over the liabilities uh, that were left by the company. So in principle, government has lost, but the biggest loss that we have had is the liability as regards our people who have not been working for such a long time. And as government, we are committed to ensure that we bridge the gap and quickly ensure that we finalize in terms of the investor to move on site immediately. Nicole is used in many parts of the world. Therefore, it is imperative that the Zambian government moves at a steady pace to revamp operations at Mnali Nico Mines for the country to benefit economically. Grace McConnell, Movie TV Business News in Osaka.